Welcome to a very special episode of the Modern Playbook Roundtable. I am joined with three of my nearest and dearest uh, for a pickups video. Brian is uh, here strictly for color commentary, is uh, saving uh, his pickups for our flagship show every Monday night, 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, remember to check out uh, Chris Colbert and the enigmatic Aaron Yeezy Yee on Thursdays at 9 p.m. We go live with the Spec 10 only on Tales from the Flip Side. Uh, gentlemen, shall we get right into it? Let's do it. Yep. All right. So uh, I told these guys I should go first because I, I basically uh, have do- books that I grabbed for a buck a piece. Um, I think. All right. It was these ones. You'll we'll have to count. Plus uh, a couple more over here for 40 bucks. Gwenpool one second print. I think it was a dollar. Uh, seems like a no brainer. That book is not real expensive yet. I before E number one. Uh, for those who are unfamiliar, this is an early appearance of the Max. Uh, still relatively cheap copies available online uh, on eBay. People are asking a little bit more for some of them. Um, nevertheless, I think it's a, a smart buy, particularly at a dollar. I'll grab them every chance I get. I think you guys should remember this if you're a fan of the show, Agents of Atlas, number four, four right? Uh, yeah. So this is the first appearance of Modern Namora. Yeah, because, oh. I mean, like, her previous appearances weren't even, like, what... It was all Golden Age stuff. until Golden Age books and uh, not the right iteration of the character. Now, uh, I've been buying these. Ironically, so has uh, our buddy uh, Ben. And Samson. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry, Samson. uh, But only the newsstand copies. Uh, Now, what you got to make sure is you pay attention to the back of those books because sometimes the newsstand appears on the back. Uh, Wildcats 1, newsstand, again, dollar a piece. Right. Uh, like I said, sometimes the UPC symbol appears on the back. Picked it up for a buck. Uh, was excited that I was able to grab this one for a dollar. Nice. Spider-Man 2, that's the Turner variant. Nice. All right. Uh, X-Men Academy. First appearance. Uh, I can't remember who. Don't hate me. Um, this one made me excited. Uh, I got two copies of 306 for a buck a piece. Didn't get the nice. gun, uh, slinger cover, and that's the first appearance of somebody, but I don't know who it is because I'm just not that into spawn. Hate me. Um, I've been grabbing all of these uh, Wolverine Through the Ages covers, particularly for a dollar. Now, Brian's going to be pissed at me for showing this one. You f- Will you forgive me? Yeah. I finally oh, found a copy to... for a dollar. Finally found a copy for a dollar. That so is I one love... of the hardest books to find. Uh, it's a great book, tough to find in the wild. And I love these Andy Warhol prints. I just do. All right. I got one copy, two copies, three copies, all sealed with the poster. But this is really cool because I also got the newsstand. Very dollar, nice. dollar, nice. dollar, make you holla. All right. Uh, I'll take these at a buck all day. Are you kidding me? I'm just a buyer on Astro City number one. Uh, love Alex Ross. Uh, really just loved this series. I think uh, it's one that makes sense uh, to pick up. You know, when I see them, like, 98 candidates for, like, $10, I'll take them every time. Look, through uh, this, the, look for the uh, 3D uh, Astro City. That's a good one. Hell, yeah. Good tip. Uh, Middleton. Nice. For Every a buck. Day. Last issue of Indiana Jones. Oh, shit. <laughs> Check out this son of a bitch on eBay. Uh, it goes for big cash. Add this to the long list of, like, books you should be looking for in your LCS because they sell for a truckload on eBay. Uh, man, I love when you drop us um, last issue books. I mean, like, when you when you told everyone, like, hey, Go pick up Beavis and Butthead last issue. Like, it's impossible to find. I found it once. 
Yeah. But I picked it up because it was only like four bucks. And I was like, still, right. I was like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, it's just low hanging fruit there. It's easy money. And, uh, there's always a shot of it being like the next Akira. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Where it just eclipses the number one. Um, I'll take these for a dollar. I never thought I'd say this. Now, this was a screw up. I was looking for number five, which apparently is the one that's super short printed. Uh, but I really just love uh, Philadelphia as a series. I think it's one of the few um, indie books that has a shot that hasn't already gotten uh, optioned and, and had a lot of news around it. Um, I think it'll have its day in the sun eventually. Uh, MFKZ, I only picked this up because of how freaking cool our buddy uh, Drew at Wanted Comics variant is. Um, so I went and snagged this one. I was excited that it had already made it into a dollar bin. <laughs> um, yeah, here, you ready? A buck. Oh, Boom. Nice. Oh, nice. I, I incidentally pick up every single cover of uh, this Daredevil Man Without Fear uh, run that has Echo on it. Um, as long as it's, you know, basically cover price. Uh, they're just always a buy for me. Um, another one for a buck. Uh, all right. For a dollar all day. Wow. Nice. nice. All freaking day, right? Yeah. I love that. Um, again, another newsstand. Um this one's also a newsstand, believe me. Uh, all right. Um, I think that uh, Fatal, again, is one of those series. I just grab it every chance I get. I'll take the first issue, the last issue. I'll take any printing of the first uh, issue. Um, I think it checks all the boxes. Uh, I, I, I'm a Brubaker Hummer. I think uh, Sean Phillips is one of the greatest artists of a generation. And um, this does horror, and it does noir, and it's got a damsel uh, in distress, and it does it elegantly. I think uh, this, as a period piece, um, could make a ton of money on TV. Now to the stuff where you're going to be like, you didn't get, did you really get that shit for a dollar? Uh, it's a nine eight candidate. I don't. I've got like fifteen copies of this book. None of them are nine eight candidates. This one is. Uh, super excited about it. Good pickup. Hold on. <laughs> I got not one, but two. Thank you, Steve, for turning me on to Seasons Beatings. Also once on the Spec 10 list. Buck a piece. Nice. All right. Well, um, that's just a cover play, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not worth any money, please. For a dollar. Nice. Are you kidding me? Wow. I and sold then, my copy already. I, I was I hoping my... Carter was going to be here. He conveniently disappeared because I was going to put him down this week uh, for a dollar. Dang. And it's, and it's a nice copy, too. Yeah, I've had two just stellar weeks in a row. Um, now, some of the crap I purchased, uh, not for a dollar. This was a, a gift for my roommate. I, I missed it because it was sold out. I love uh, the Notorious B.I.G. Uh Homage? I hate to call it an homage. Swipe? I don't know. What, uh, but anyway, cover. yeah, it's, I mean, it's the album cover. I thought it was a brilliant, brilliant design. Uh, these things are worth a ton of money. Did you guys know that? Yes. Yeah, ten dollars. Very nice. Nice. Shout out to New Dimension. Uh, I know that uh, a lot of the people that work and manage that place are big fans of the show. Uh, really appreciate their support. Thanks for that one. Ten bucks. Uh, Twenty-five dollars. I actually paid ratio for something. That's the, that's the one per store. That's the one per store. They said it was a one in twenty-five. I was like, I'll take that. Thanks. Yeah, I don't know what it's at. It was like it was like at forty when I I picked it up. Um, oh. All right. So now, I, yeah, I don't know what it is now. Uh, Walmart pack. Did I show these Walmart pack ones? Mm -hmm. Just wait for it. Walmart pack. Oh, is that the one in 500? Nice. Hold on. Hold on. Wait for it. Walmart pack. Nice. Mavoko. Hold on. One more Walmart pack. Oh, How many Walmart here. packs did you get? <laughs> I just bought them all. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but I did get it. It was smart. All right. I am finito. Done. Nice. All right. Very nice. Thank you, sir. All right. So I want to give a couple of shout outs to some people that I've 
you know, sent me books or I bought some books from. Uh, so this one goes out to um, Blue Green Artifacts, Tony. Uh, I am now three away from completing my homage set of nice. second events. Yeah, so, that was a tough one. Yeah, so like he said it, and he's like, oh, you need it? I'll just send it to you. I was like, are you serious? So, Tony's a stud, dude. Yeah. Uh, so shout out to Robert Fordham. He sold me this book for a pretty decent price. So I'm not going to say how, exactly how much, but hey, you know, it's a the call cover. And I love I'm, it. Yeah, I'm gonna want it. So it'll, you know, it looks really clean. I'll probably like, probably send it out to a grade. All right. So yeah, I made a couple purchases off of whatnot. Uh, Stein. I purchased one of Stein's mystery packs. So this is the first book that came out of it. Final Crisis number one. Uh, there's also the extraordinary X Men number two variant. Is this a ratio? Not sure. I thought both of those were ratios, actually, but... With oh, nice. Have. And then uh, a Green Lantern 39. And then this is the last book that was in this pack. So... Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I think it's a... I forget whose it is. What's a... The Joker, You're the Villain. Um, I can't remember the artist. Uh, but Minimal Trade. So not too bad. Uh, I bought some books from Phil, our friend, and then he sent some a couple extra ones. So this is a Steve Rogers uh, Captain America number one hip hop cover, second print. That's a pain in the ass to find. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember if I bought this from him or not. So, but it's a Star Wars Beckett number one variant. And then this is one I did purchase from him. So this is a uh, DC one million. Oh nice! Oh nice, dude. Yeah, yeah. So I, I want to say I got it at a steal of a price too, like because people on whatnot did not know what it was, and he even like spelled it out for them, like first appearance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Buy for, this uh, book. And uh, yeah, yeah, first <laughs> appearance of Batman Beyond. Like he's like it's not a high grade copy, but still. And then uh, I want to give a big shout out to Josh Allen. For Jesus. This. So this is the uh, Spanish edition of Something is Killing the Children, a uh, hard paperback book. So Wow. Yeah. That's sweet. Yeah. So pretty cool stuff. Um, and I wanted to show off some stuff I picked up from shops. I might have shown a couple of these uh, other places, but, you know, I like to support our team. So Incredible Hercules was this 133, the Amadeus Cho cover. And, and it's the origin, all- right? This is the origin, so shout out to Red Hood Comics. Uh, I love that cover because of the brains. Yeah, and then because this is the B cover that features uh, Cho on it, the other one uh, features Hercules on it. So I picked this up from my shop for $2. I don't know how you guys find that book. I look for that book every time I'm in a shop and I found zero copies. (laughs) I'm not complaining, like for $2. And then, and then, like, on the wall, they had a uh, Lone Wolf and Cub issue one. Classic. Yep, for fifteen dollars. I'm not complaining. So shout out to Steve Horn. And then he's got timeless spec. You know the uh, shout out to the uh, Tales from the Dark Side crew, like this Doctor Afro number one, one in twenty five. Uh, I was like, oh, I have to have this killer killer bots like variant. Um, That's a good one. That's a real good one. I love that one. You guys are going to love this one. So, Gwynpool Holiday Special. Seven dollars. <laughs> that? Seven dollars. It was in the back issue bin too. Like it wasn't near uh-huh. a wall. Like it was just sitting there, like around other Gwynpool Holiday Special books. Like I know how much. Like everyone says, like this book is impossible to find. But explain, explain what what what's the big deal about that book? Just because it's so hard to find. But yeah, it's like isn't it like a high? It's like a one in twenty five. Incentive ratio. It's like too. a high ratio incentive on a random book that nobody ordered. Um, but Gwenpool's just hard to find these days. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Like you can find random issues, uh, but none of the B covers anymore, none of the like second prints, and, and certainly none of the ratios. They're gone. Yeah. At least in my area, they're gone. Uh, so I know how Long Short likes to, you know, get like photo variants and stuff like that. But the cool thing about this was it was in a poly bag, 
because uh, I think Joe and I were talking late one night, and we we're like, like, hey, wouldn't it be crazy if you could find like the uh, five below packs steel sealed and like pull a one in twenty five UF four in it? I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. So we started. I started searching on eBay, and then I found this, which is a newsstand copy of a photo variant. So I thought it was pretty that's cool. Crazy. Yeah. I've never seen one of those. Yeah, and then the other two books that came with it have the uh, Marvel Not For Sale like uh, sticker in it. Nice. Uh, I went to a garage sale this uh, past Saturday uh, after staying up all night watching It's Drunken Chat, and then I fell asleep and then showed up right at the end before they closed. And then I was like, all right, let's see what they have left. So they had this, uh, you know, this variant uh, Captain America 25, Death of Captain America. But... Uh, you know, Turner class, classic Turner cover. Check out this barcode. The uh, the original one says direct on, on top instead of Captain America, and so it's a new stand. It's I didn't like, even know it existed. Three dollars. Yeah, and then another highlighted book from that is would be this uh, lock and key clockwork number six. It's a uh, retailer incentive, like. I think I saw like one listed on eBay, not even sold, just like someone listed it. So. I hope we get a freaking second series, dude. It's driving me crazy. I just want a second season of that TV show. Does anybody I, know if it got canceled or? No, I, I heard it was uh, there was going to be a second season. They just delayed it because of uh, of COVID. All right, let me rearrange so my pile of books doesn't fall over. All right. So some other books I picked up from a shop. Um, issue two, six print. Just cover price. Can't complain. It's beautiful, dude. Uh, you know, Darth Maul. I just needed this book to complete the set that I had. I found this uh, issue 25 variant. That's a dope cover. Yeah. So when I saw it, I was like, I was like, for a near mint copy for 10, I was like, that's not too bad. Uh, I think you're smart to be buying Star Wars right now. Yeah. Or how about, you know, a retailer incentive, IDW High Republic Adventures for $8, so less than ratio. Uh, you know, speaking of uh, of Echo, I found this, the annual. Oh, I never that. see that, dude. Very nice. And then... You know, I always collect Deadpool books. I had the black and white one, but I don't remember if I had the colored one or not. So I was like, might as well pick it up for five bucks. And then to end it off, I found a couple of these. In Uncanny Inhumans number two for a cover price. Great can cover. Yeah. Well, I, and I thought it was kind of funny, like with the background, like, you know, just ending up in, I guess, different part of the print run or whatever. But these are both like direct first prints. So good stuff yep all right chris you're up all right so had to separate some stuff out you know uh don't want to give you guys all the cornbread for upcoming weeks of the show so um we'll start with new avengers 7 most of you are probably not familiar with seeing this cover of it you're probably more used to seeing uh namor versus black panther on it this is a one in 20 ratio variant with a terry dobson cover um got it for four bucks in the back issue bin it's a nine eight contender of course, whenever you find one of these guys, you got to grab it. They started out with asking 100 and needs to say, we didn't pay that leaving out the door. We were probably closer to like 60 bucks. Jesus. Um, oh, I'm a tough negotiating your shop with cash talks. So I can't believe you found it for less. I mean, dude, I, I can't get that book anywhere in my area for less than like. What'd you get it for? A quarter? We started at 100 and I left out of there at 60. Nice. Yeah. That's well, exceptional, man. Is it yeah. a high grade? Um, it's probably got a fighting chance like an eight five nine zero, but I ain't complaining. Like yeah. they'll still go for two twenty and an eight five. So, and that's without like the official announcement yet. Again, Whoa. practice what you preach. Woo! Nice. <laughs> so one of these was twenty bucks, and then this one was three dollars. This one was twenty, uh, twenty and twenty two. But so for but, people who are new, uh, Chris, why is that book important? So this is the first appearance, and it is stated on the CGC slab, of the Illuminati team. So uh, there is speculation that we will be seeing them in the near future um, to the point where there's talks of potentially an Xavier 
uh, cameo, if not face off, in the uh, Multiverse of Madness, which is going to get us to the X Men a whole lot sooner than anybody expected. So maybe it's not a bad idea to stock up on uh, some new Avengers uh, first Illuminati books because you're going to need a super team uh, to control all of the other subordinate super teams. So we got a uh, first Ronin here. Again, we started at 20 bucks, left there a little bit better than that. Now that's Echo Ronin in there? Yep, that's Echo Ronin. So you got the double whammy with the Echo appearance and also with the Ronin appearance for either one of your fan sakes because there's a strong possibility that Echo will maybe take on the Ronin moniker since Echo will be making an appearance in Hawkeye facing off against Ronin and Hawkeye. So, I mean, it's a classic. Whenever you find it, you got to buy it. Um, I think oh, we were, we started at 200, was able to walk our way down to 150 shipped. So. Jesus. Oh, and this is a big shout out. If you guys are watching to my LCS back in Atlanta, Infinite Realities, they are absolutely awesome. Uh, definitely check them out whenever you get a chance. Um, I mean, why the hell not? <laughs> First printings because. I, uh, I almost sold a set of that on uh, whatnot the other night. I still have them. I have to set them. Those I couldn't believe how much those go for. So yeah. Those first, yeah. Those like yeah. $100 books raw. Yeah, All day. So one's a 9-8 contender. One's probably like a 9-6. But both of them were like $34 and $38 respectively before my discount and before oh negotiations. Oh, my God. And... Is that that's what what's a nine eight five hundred thousand bucks? I think it might be a five hundred dollar book in nine eight, I believe. Um, Damn. and then of course, oh well, one of these isn't like the others, so we'll pull that away. <laughs> so, every time I find one of these out in the wild, I buy it. Uh, a couple of these came from um, if you guys are hawking on eBay, somebody had five of these up for grabs. Um, on a eBay listing where you could, you know, buy one or buy multiple. I bought all four of the ones they had remaining at like, I think we, it broke down to like maybe, you know, $16 a piece per book after everything was said and done plus shipping. And then the rest of these guys I grabbed for like, you know, 20 bucks, $25 or so, because again, it's, if they grade out to a nine, eight, they're currently a $250 plus nine, eight. So why not? Investor lot. <laughs> exactly. But no, I'm, I'm a CGC like homer when it comes to at least grading stuff. I'm not necessarily a fan of their practices and stuff, but you know, it, it gets me higher grades or higher grades gets me more money on my books, so I'm always grading stuff. Uh, we got an Invincible Iron Man three, first red and gold armor. These are still still out there in the wild. It's unbelievable you found that. Wow. Yep. Yep. Uh, again, we started at forty bucks. Need to say we didn't leave at forty bucks. You know what? I was probably going to recommend this for a future list, but screw it. They're out there again. Buy them um, because people forgot about the spec. And what, What's your price point? You'll buy them no matter what at what price point? Anything under 30 bucks, I'll probably pull the trigger on this. Because I mean, this guy was 25 before any type of discounts or negotiations. And that was just kind of a no-brainer. Brian, um, are, you the kind of, are you the same way? Yeah, 20, 25. Yeah. Okay. Because it, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an already optioned property. Like, again, like, you know, in the future, we're going to have a discussion about this, but making the rounds on these properties that got optioned like two years ago, three years ago. I mean, COVID caused people to forget about things that weren't immediate, like, money makers. So, making the rounds through all those properties that got optioned back in 2017, 2018, 2016. Um, yeah, it takes, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit longer for something to make it out to market, but. You know, people forget, and you can pick up nine eights and raw copies of things for dirt cheap, and then all of a sudden, there's a new announcement. There's a case in point, Oblivion Song. We get a casting announcement, and a book that nobody cared about nine eight goes to being a three hundred dollars nine eight all of a sudden again. So, if you were smart and bought in when you could, you got some money to make. Yeah, I'm definitely looking for another copy to uh, get Brian Cave on to sign at at Baltimore. Oh, very nice. Yeah. So we have just a kind of a classic cane cover because, again, there's not a whole lot of them out there. This was a $4 buy. Let's see. Again, pay attention to what's on the list. This was, you know, at one of my local LCSs for they were asking 40. Needs to say we were able to walk them down to about 25 out the door. Damn. And again, you can point to eBay all you want to, but I got cash in hand right now. So what you're trying to do. Um, again, another one for, you know, Whatever, we'll give you a little bit of cornbread. 
Um, there's been talks of bringing quite a few of those uh, Netflix uh, MCU characters back into the fold again. Um, this book has really been forgotten now. I picked this up for like under 50 bucks. So, I love so, that book. And it's got a fight chance at a 9-8. So again, I I highly recommend when you, you know, when you think something's dead, it may not be revisit old spec, revisit books that had their moment in the sun on Netflix. It may be worth it to see them again. I found a uh, a Kristen Ritter sign, CGC 9-6, like when I first joined the team. Guess wow. how much I paid for it? What, like 150 bucks? Oh, I paid nothing. Like 250 maybe? No, nice, like, okay. Yeah, like I think her autograph costs like at least 80 bucks or something like that. And then, you know, CGC grading on top of that. Yeah, then, no yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. surprised you didn't pay. I'm, yeah, I'm surprised it's not a lot more. I think her autograph costs a lot more than that, dude. Yeah. But yeah, no, that's that's definitely a sound pickup because again, and uh, apologies for my cat in the background being an asshole. Um, we've got uh, the Council of Kings. Again, pick this guy up for I think like thirty bucks. We have the first first Immortus. Uh, whether or not we'll see um, Immortus again in, um, or sorry, Kang versus Immortus, not first Immortus, Kang versus Immortus. And whether or not we'll see that version again, because I have a sh I feel like what we saw in at the end of Loki was Immortus remains to be seen. But you know, for less than twenty bucks, buy it. You'll probably have to make a profit. Uh, Sean was talking about this some time ago with these old um, low number spawn runs. If they if they like, they'll grade out. So again, a couple of Angela first appearances. Because now, as everybody should be paying attention, she is a Marvel property. You know, she was sold off to Marvel after a messy legal battle with McFarlane between him and Gaiman. Um, and in the MC or in Marvel, she is Thor's like long lost sister. So who knows what could happen in a future Thor movie? So and that newsstand is cruising, right? Yeah, I wish I had uh, one of those. Yeah, I'm an asshole for selling mine. A, a nine eight's two stacks. So, for anybody who knows, I'm in the Pacific Northwest, and uh, the headquarters of Dark Horse Comics are right down the street from me. Like, you know, a quick ten minute drive. Um, so stuff like this pops up in dollar bin books all the time. Wow. Dark Horse presents number one, aka first uh, Dark, Black Cross first Concrete. Again, two characters that will probably never see the light of day. But I still love it because it's a piece of comic book history. And, and Concrete was a big deal when we were kids. Yes. Yeah. I mean, nobody knew who Black Cross was, at least I don't think. But, like, we all knew Concrete, right? Yeah. Like, I... Yeah, so it's a little piece of comic book history. The character may never see the light of day ever. But, I mean, for a dollar, like, you know, it was listed at 12. And I was like, is this accurate? They're like, nah, man, it's in the dollar bin books. Like, we bought that from another shop. I was like, I would have paid you twelve, but you know, cool, I'll take that dollar. <laughs> That's nice. Um, let's see what else we have again. Not to give away future. Well, and it's a future cornbread because good luck finding one. Um, again, picked up a werewolf by night number one. You know, you should probably already be on this if you can find them, buy them. This was uh, we started out at one seventy five, and I got him down for so it was a lot of like six hundred dollars worth of books, and out the door I was at like. Uh, like 450, 500, somewhere in that range. So, not the best negotiation on my part, but stronger than paying retail. Again, not to give away any more cornbread, but a couple 9.8 contenders of Web of Spider Man. Again, we started out asking 30. So, whatever, you know, knocking off 100 off the, the grand total brought me out to. I'm a buy on these because in 9.8, this is a this is a worthwhile book to have your hands on. There was a point when you could have got these for $100 a piece, but now they definitely have climbed. I'm not sure what they're going for in 9.8s currently, but it's definitely more than $100 right now. So, Yeah, I love those uh, Web of Spider-Man books just for nostalgia's sake. No, absolutely. 9.8 contender of the infamous Iron Man number one. Like, the spine is as black as black can be. Like, not a bit of damage on here. Double boarded with a good, like, you know, you know, double back, back and board. I was like, man, like that was, that was worth just, you know, the $25 that you were asking for right there. But again, we were able to negotiate and get them for a great rate. 
I wonder if I'm going to regret not buying every issue of that series that I see. It's like every day there's another one I like. Obviously, the first one's a monster. The last one, that I love the horse cover, but I'll take like the A cover. There's the Pieta. The uh, one with Riri Williams is beautiful. And I'm like, should I just buy them all? Like every time I see them? I mean, again, so this is a, a future conversation that I'd love for us to have. But, you know, we... we... If, even if the infamous Doom thing doesn't necessarily happen with him becoming a sort of Iron Man type character, um, just great covers around characters when they pop, like the second book and the, you know, the tertiary book get hot and like the fourth level book. And then we get in the hot covers. Like if you got them in, like if you got them for cheap and you got them like ready to go when the time comes, like people get priced out pretty fast. And we'll have a conversation about that later this week about people getting priced out of the first appearance or the first like moniker appearance. So maybe you want to go with the second appearance in the moniker. Maybe you want to go with some classic covers. Like again, like there's money to be made out there. So don't be so one dimensional in your collecting when you go to buy books. Amen. Again, 25 a piece for pretty All high. Day. Again, no brainer. That's that's I. Uh, yeah, you and I are very much the same buyer. Yeah, for my dirty old men out there, we got some <laughs> uh, underground. I've got a bunch of underground, but this is one of the only few I feel kosher and showing on camera uh, with some snatch comics. If you're not familiar, this is some classic Robert Crumb for all of my you know old school indie underground heads out there. Some super high grade copies of Conan in low number, like this Conan Nine. I, I so. I recently, from the same collection, picked up a Conan 15 that grayed out to a 9.8. I just said you probably you can probably go check GPA right now. I just set the GPA record at Conan uh, Conan 15 in a 9.8 at I want to say 8,000 or sorry Jesus 820 bucks. So for a book that I basically picked up raw for like 100 dollars, hey, I'm down for it. Even in high grade, it's worthwhile. Again, more Conan, Conan 11. Classic Barry Smith covers. Conan 16. Conan 21. I'm rushing through these, so I got some way cooler stuff I want to show you guys. And then we got Conan 22. Low number, World by Night, number four. This one with a press and a clean. She had a fighting chance at probably an 8.5. So, again, happy about that. Not the prettiest in the world, but I'll take it. Beware the claws of the cat, number one. You know, issue three of that series has a letter written into the back pages by a young Frank Miller. Oh, wow. nice. I have to be on the hunt for that. Sweet. And so now we get into my big shit. Um, so again, I'm a big Silver Age uh, buyer and speculator. Um, so we have Fantastic Four, number four in a 5.0. <laughs> First name more in the Silver Age. It cost me a pretty penny to get this, but it, it will be more than worth it when, as we know, he pops up in Black Panther 2. That's gorgeous, man. Wow. I actually uh, just uh, graded one of those not too long ago for uh, my buddy. I can't remember what it came in. I think it came in like a either in between a four and a six. I can't remember, though. Yeah, I'm kicking, I'm kicking myself because I sold off a 6.5 um, yeah. for, wow. at the time, it set the GBA record for a 6.5, but that's been eclipsed now. Um, but I used those funds to purchase another book, so I'm not even hating on it. Um but yeah, so I had to get back into it before we had that first trailer drop um, with Namor doing some Namor type shit. Uh, of course, Tomb of Dracula. Damn. 10, 9.4 white pages. Wow. So again, this is um, may not make sense for us to put it on the list, but you can still get these for reasonable money. Like you can still negotiate people into like the five grand range. Like this was a little, no more than a little over five grand to get this book. What do you think is going to happen when Blade finally shows up in the MCU? Especially, you know, being able to get you a super high grade copy for reasonable money. 
it still might probably makes sense if you if you can afford to separate yourself from five to six grand go get you a copy because it'll be a 10 a 10 grand book a 15 grand book potentially when he makes his mc's appearance I, I literally see zero copies of that book in any grade uh in my area ohio pa um in i i don't know well before covid was the last time i saw a, a halfway decent looking raw copy uh, or any graded copy at a show period i saw one trash graded copy post covid so that was a so that's another thing too um be on the lookout on you know join your 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 facebook groups and things like that for comics all over the us that book came from florida so you know i'm up in the pacific northwest i i'm not necessarily going to send somebody you know friends and family that I don't know, but I, I will take a risk on, you know, goods and services because I'm protected and I'll get my money back one way or another. So again, if you see somebody who's willing to negotiate a, a pretty reasonable deal on your local market books and stuff like, or marketplaces, um, as long as you're not putting yourself at risk or at danger, like, you know, entertain them. I've gotten some really great buys for reasonable money. Had somebody very recently um, was selling a 9.6 ASM 300 for 1700 bucks because his, his kid needed uh, tuition for their private school. And, and I, like an asshole, was like, hey, man, can you do 1200 <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's an, that's an expensive Zoom meeting. Yeah. Un un unfortunately, <laughs> somebody gave him the full 17. He was like, oh, let me think about it. Like you're the highest offer so far. I was like, oh, I'm the highest at twelve. Wow. I was, like, I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna get this book. And then somebody came to me and said, yeah, man, somebody gave me the full seventeen. I was like, you know what? Take it, take it. I'm not, I'm an asshole for even trying to offer you. And then the one sold that same week on eBay for nineteen, like nineteen twenty five, I think. So, and he was local. Like I could have drove down the street, and paid cash, and picked that book up. So I'm kind of kicking myself yeah. for for trying to lowball him. But you know, hey, you. You dribble, you shoot, you hope for the best. <laughs> um, and last but not least, my Peace Day Resistance um, pickup of the last week. Dun, 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 dun. Daredevil number one, 7.5, off white to white pages. Wow. Um, I got sniped in the final minutes by like 100 bucks on one on eBay. And I was super worried that we were going to have like, though I should have known better that uh, Matt Murdock was going to show up in the uh, No Way Home trailer. And so I was like, Christ, I don't want this book. Like, I've had a couple of them. I've sold them all to buy other books. And now I'm like, I need to have one just for when that happens because I'm a firm believer that Matt Murdock will make an appearance in No Way Home. So somebody down in uh, Florida, again, um, was had this book posted on eBay did some quick reverse searching, found their Instagram, contacted them. We went back and forth and negotiated. And I was out the door in the twelves for this book. So I will I will gladly take it because I think I can still easily turn a quite a bit of decent profit on it once he makes his transition over to the MCU. There's been talk of him making an appearance in the Echo standalone series. There's been talk of No Way Home. Um you know, what's the old adage where there's smoke, there's probably fire. And if people keep talking about, you know, Matt Murdock making appearances in places, there's probably a good strong possibility that he will be making his return to, to his former glory in the MCU. So Amen. that is my last pickup of the week that I'm willing to show at this point. So. Well, and then how could they not, though? You know what I mean? Like, it, when I think about Netflix, that was the most popular series that even non-comic people were talking about. They're like, have you seen Daredevil like on Netflix? Like, I mean, it just makes sense. Yeah, it's like, a no-brainer. Like, bring the yeah. character back. He's awesome. See him and Spider-Man have one of the best relationships in comics. Like, and again, you know, people hating on those meetup books, but it might not be a bad idea to go scoop you up a couple of uh, classic Daredevil and Spider-Man, uh, you know, team-ups. Go, you know, scrounge through that, um, the old Marvel Knights run. That's where all this Echo stuff coming from. Go grab you some classic covers of the two of them hanging out in the uh, in the early 2000s. Those will probably go for good money because that was some of the best artwork by Joe Quesada around. So, Amen. So, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can catch most of us on Wednesday for Dealer Flipside or Thursday for the Prospect List. And, yeah. Uh, but hit those bells so you don't miss any 
any of those notifications and uh catch you on the flip side